Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. As usual, day 10 of our coverage as far as the Supreme Court hearing is concerned, the election petition. It's been going on. Chachu Chikata still on his feet doing his cross-examination. And it's a break for now. We'll come back after some time. That's when we begin to pick up signals from the Supreme Court to continue with what he is doing. There's been a lot of fun in between, but a lot of things that we have been used to in the course of a weeks that we have had this broadcast on. We will look at a few of them as we've always been doing here with you and with our legal practitioners. My name is Henry Hebert. Mama, I welcome you on behalf of the crew for this day on this election petition hearing. Stay with us now. Let's see what we can do by way of understanding what's been happening there. We have here with us lawyer Dr. Maurice Ampa, um, who is a legal practitioner, to help us with our discussion. Thanks for joining us, lawyer Ampa. It's always a pleasure to be mm -hmm. with you. Okay. So, another day of cross examination and the case almost took an interesting turn this morning when a lawyer walked in and sought under a mucus curial. So I'm sure as a legal person, you would, you would give us better interpretation of it to virtually uh, get the case halted in a way. That was overruled anyway. But how, what does that mean? How could one walk in when already a team for that matter? Uh, sort of like uh, in disarray. I mean... The team has been assembled already. Then you come in to make a case that sort of suggests that it shouldn't be a case at all, should just be thrown out of court. What is this amicus? No, I no, no. Right. If I want to, I want to hear it clear. The, the lawyer was in court? Yes. He joined the them there. He joined yes. the court as yes. a friend of the court or as what? I think so. As a friend of the court. Yes, and, and he came under uh, is he amicus cura. Amicu, amicu, amicu cura. I'm, I'm surprised about this amicus cura uh, principle. It doesn't apply in our constitution. In our legal jargons, we don't see all these things. The Supreme Court, the, 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 the supreme law of the land is the constitution. And the constitution has made provision for what we are seeing. That when there is an election and a party is disputing the election, there should be a, a, a petition and then it should be heard by the Supreme Court. So the, 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 that, that principles of law would not hold. Now so he's not a party to the suit and he has no, he has no right whatsoever uh, uh, to make those submissions. I want the Supreme Court to allow him as a friend of the court to make a suggestion. But you know the attitude of the members of the bench. They, they said it to uh, lawyer Edison that look, we are the law. The law is our bosom. So no principles of law, as we speak right now. They are, they, the Supreme Court judges are only bound by the Constitution. If you want to, to subdue them, as they sit down there, if you want to, 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 to put it to the Supreme Court judges, you must quote a Constitution. They are only not above the Constitution. But any other law beyond the Constitution, they have what it takes to overlook it. Mm. So that's why they, 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 they are saying that, look, the law is in the bosom of the, of his, of the judges. So it's, it's only by constitutional provisions. If only you can quote the Constitution to buttress the point of Amikura. If it is not in the Constitution, then as the Supreme Court judges said there, nobody whatsoever will can, can, can uh, listen, interrupt the proceedings. It will be unconstitutional. But that was, I think, what he sought to do. It to will be unconstitutional. It's an insult to the, 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 uh, the uh, integrity of the court. It's, it's, uh, it can even amount to contempt of court. You know, you are trying to interfere with the administration of justice. This is a, a constitutionally mandated uh, uh, this thing, uh, uh, trial backed by law, the uh, sovereign will of the people, backed by uh, 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 public interest, backed by international interest, eh? uh, 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 consolidating our democracy. So you cannot come by any principles of law. Even the international community cannot come and interfere with what is happening now. So no principles of law can overrule what the Supreme Court judges are, are, are saying. If he came under the Constitution and said, look, under the Constitution, Article so, so, and so, he's saying that Whatever you are doing here is all constitutional. Then you have arrested the trial. Mm -hmm. So this principle is not a year or there. So as far as the Supreme Court judges are concerned, it's only things that the Constitution says that they can uh, speak to. Yes, because it's as the, simple as that. Because in Ghana Quite here, simple. in Ghana here, we, we say something that at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, I'm not a Christian, and the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, all what demons and everything bow. Mm -hmm. Eh? Okay. That, yeah, but the same way, and the mention of the name of the 19th Constitution, everybody bows in Ghana, including okay. the Supreme Court judges. Okay. So when you quote the Constitution, then everybody is, is supposed to be alert because you are quoting the supreme law of the land, and everybody is not about that supreme law of the land. So the, the judges over there can only be stopped 
You can only stop them, you can only um, uh, challenge them on the provisions of the constitution, but not any other law, because they will tell you that they are about those laws. So that, that tells us straight that there's nothing to fear, there's nothing, there's nothing to, fear. to worry about. The case will proceed as we see it now, yeah. and as many people as show up there, as long as they don't have basis constitutionally, we have no fear. We should expect the case to proceed as it is now. Uh, Eric, can I make a small comment okay. about, about um, the ruling that came from the Supreme Court concerning um, um, Bernard Mona uh, judgment yeah, yes, yes. as to as to um, the CI okay. seventy five or so that was sent by but what was presented by the uh, rules of committees mm -hmm. uh, to to as a as a, as a, a law that governs the proceedings that, that they could sit yes. on public holidays yes. and also yes. not allow Thank for you. a review that Thank was you. actually thrown out. Thank you. I, I, I'm surprised about the rules of committees those who be, who are the members of those rules these are eminent judges they are eminent lawyers so they did not they did not foresee that the law will be will be inconsistent with the provisions of the of the of the of the constitution that's number one i can forgive them they are human beings they can they, they are not all knowing now like, let's move on to the second one what is our members of parliament doing you see that's the question we have to ask ourselves this law it's called a subsidiary legislation, a delegated legislation, is inferior to the Act of Parliament, the public uh, holiday uh, law. Now, when the Judicial Committee, which is a subsidiary legislation committee, presented this CI before members of Parliament, what did they do? It's, 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 you realize that uh, members of Parliament, some of them are not working. We have lawyers, we have the, the, the Speaker of Parliament be a lawyer, and they all sat down I didn't know whether they scrutinize the social legislation because delegated legislation must, must come before them. They have the duty to look at it and for 21 days it becomes law. So it means that they were doing nothing. They didn't see anything and they have to take an ordinary person like Bernard Mona, who is not a lawyer, who is not an MP, to look at these loopholes and go to court. It's a shame. It's a shame to the members of our parliament. And they must come out and to, and to be a little bit more, more serious with how they do their works in parliament. In These words, are the things that they have to look. They, they should have raised this objection. They should not have passed the yes, first place. Yes, they should have passed. The, if they have, they, have, they, have, they have formed a committee to look critically at, 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 at the CI, they could have seen this loophole that you have, uh, uh, a subsidiary legislation is being passed to, 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 to uh, 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 say, at way or, or to be a superior law to an act of parliament. And then the law says that parliament is supreme. The law that parliament passes, apart from the constitution, the next source of law which is powerful is out of parliament. Then we have an, a, a, this in the judiciary we, uh, we passing a, a lower law eh, that seeks to uh, do what parliament have said. Parliament law says that every public holiday, including Saturdays and Sundays, should be observed. Then we have a subsidiary law from, from the rules of committee saying that no, they will not organize it. And no member of parliament raised that objection. So to, it's very interesting, I'm, and I'm so proud and confident. We must applaud the Supreme Court judges. We, have, we must know one thing in Ghana that we see the Supreme Court judges. They were they they look at the law regardless that this uh, law was spearheaded by the Chief Justice. You know he, he is the one who initiated this rules and committee. So we can say that it's the work of the Chief Justice. They look. At Law is trying to uh, 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 try to undo us, but they look at the law and they were firm, and then they came out firmly. Look, the rules of committees they, they were wrong in this matter. The chief justice you are wrong in this matter, and that is that clearly shows that our, our, our Supreme Court they are on top of issues and come come what may, whatever their decision on this election, uh, election petition should be accepted by all. But they have shown that they they, are, they, are, they, they, they don't they don't they don't respect. Anybody, they, are, they cannot be, they, they cannot be influenced by anybody. They are, they are, they are own men. They, 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 they are independent, and they will do what is just and fair to all. That gives a real feather, a big feather in their cap, isn't it? Uh, confidence, a lot of confidence in what they can do. Okay, so now let's shift aw uh, away from that. Let's look at what is happening in court today. It's still being in perhaps the same direction, duplications and all that. But I see clearly that. Chikata has been trying as best as possible to raise issues of illegality and in some cases talked about perjury by the fact that Baumia is under oath but he thinks that some of the things that he's been saying or some of the documents that he's tendered in respect of affidavits have been 
misleading to the courts and therefore issues of or about perjury have, have, have been raised by him. Yeah, it, it, I think one and thing. I think this is the first time that really he's putting it out there uh, as, as, as a crime. That's yes, you see, one thing, one thing that we have to applaud Tashikata of is he has gone beyond what Tonelita is doing. Tonelita just raised the issue of duplication and then ended there. Now he's moving on to the effect of these duplications and to try to create an impression in the mind of the Supreme Court judges. Like, look, they were deliberate. They, they, it's an attempt to uh, outreach you to bloat the register. Now, you see, when you begin to talk about perjury, you begin to talk about fraud, then the burden is on you, to prove beyond reasonable doubt. Because you are, you are talking about something that can cause uh, 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 to, to face a criminal trial and then, and then to, uh, to go to prison. And in fact, he's been talking about duplicate sheets with code numbers and all that and signatures that are questionable in respect of yes you are, you are, you are raising agents. you are raising all those things so things. he's making a case he's making a case but you, you when you can't talk about perjury and then you're talking about fraud then you must go beyond that what you are saying but he just restricted to perjury perjury and the fact that he's been misleading the courts mm -hmm. and has been churning out untruths you realize that you realize that the reason why the court somehow you can say boldly that the supreme court judges are not will not take it so hard at dr Madame, is that is the response that is coming is coming out with a response that look, these are photocopies, they may be errors here and there, and tries to present it, and then uh, it was morally done, and then we look at it, and we went into the uh, this thing, um, 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 using computer. Now, it is, it is not only enough to look at the evidence on one side. You realize that you are talking about P sheets and then exhibits. Now, the exhibit is only an aspect of the evidence, one aspect of the evidence. Now, by mind, trying to say that look, this. As you see them, you may think that it is quadrupled, it is, it is, it is a duplicate, but the, in an analysis, which is also in evidence, what I presented to you, CD ROM, on my analysis, final analysis, I rely only on one. So you must look at the thing, the evidence as a whole. You don't look at one aspect. So if it's up to Chacho Chikata to prove that this thing was done, duplication, and the duplication also was used in analysis. Then you can say, as a whole, the person has committed perjury. But if it shows that the duplication was done uh, in the exhibits, but in analysis, he only used one, and then he has been able to explain, then in law, you have not been able to prove perjury beyond reasonable doubt, because there is a doubt as to whether he tends by duplication to uh, commit perjury. At, at which point would you say the analysis should be introduced? It will be introduced very soon because you see the analysis have already been introduced. It is in evidence. That's why my one keeps on saying that. Look, in my analysis before the court, he has presented it. You know, the court is not interested in taking oral evidence. He said, bring all the evidence, affidavit, uh, affidavit uh, uh, evidence plus any other. So you realize that the the petitioner have provided affidavit evidence with CD ROM, with video, and anything that you would like want to use in the trial. The same way NDC have done, the same way uh, the president have done, the same way the Russian Commission have done. So the, they are saying that if you want to know whether I have committed perjury, you get me right. The best thing to do is try and then look at the evidence as a whole. That the all evidence that you presented, not only one aspect, but the whole. You use duplication, and then the duplication was also used in the analysis. Then you can say that you intend to deceive the court. But if the person is, is able to explain that, look, there, there might be some duplications. Not all. There might be some duplications. But then, in my analysis, I only use now Why one. should we have a case where lawyers are allowed to proceed on the basis of the affidavits over and over and over when indeed the analysis, as you have suggested, is available and can also be placed alongside so that these reconciliations are done even as we proceed. So one would know that perhaps they've been journeying or then you, you know, you know, you know, I think what you, what you have to uh, acknowledge and recognize also is that um, once those exhibits have been tended, they are evidence in itself. And then it is, you must give the one who is affected by those evidence to respond to them. That's why the court is allowing uh, the, the respondent to ask questions. Because you see, for example, if you don't ask, all this duplication will go in. Mm -hmm. And it will, it, will, it will make the number look very big. I'm tempted to believe that the 
analysis as Dr. Baumia seeks to refer to uh, perhaps might not be admitted there at all. No, it does might not be used. Maybe that's his analysis, but the court perhaps is not interested in it. Um, you see, the analysis is there. That's his analysis. Yes, he has tended all of all those things in the city room. Mm -hmm. That's why he was trying to initially when Tony Lita uh, started raising the issue. Then he said, "Look, my lord, if you will allow me the permission with the city room, then I'll do PowerPoint." He gave me right to that explain. Was denied. And then he said, "No, no, no." He said, "No, it's, it's not." The court said, "I saw necessary now." Because I've been, I, 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 I yeah. remember as well that when this whole thing started, that was what the counsel for the petitioner wanted to do. Yes. They wanted to actually state their case Please using PowerPoints, yes. you know, presentations, and that was denied. Yes. So, at which point would Balmia believe that he will be successful trying to reintroduce that subject? Well, definitely, you see, the, the, the judges, once those evidence are in evidence, you see, it's up to the uh, respondent after going through the pin sheets, they must also call for the the CD room, you don't get me right, mm -hmm. and then and then the analysis that he has said that he has already put it in evidence. You quite remember that, but we saying that everything is there in my analysis. So you ask, you must. I, I've had a problem with if evidence exists that would help quickly resolve this problem. Why sit and go through this laborious process of having? pink sheets tended in one after the other, issues about duplication, issues about coding and all that show up before going back. So should should opportunity arise for the exhibits of the analysis and duplications are found again. Who we'll have to go over this whole business? No, again. you see please, you see we, we need to allow the respondent to do their also with their cross examination. Nobody should gag them. You see, what they are trying to do is that, look, there are duplications. You have brought the number. Now, if they are able to succeed, as they are doing, they are succeeded. If they continue to succeed and succeed and succeed, they are creating a mindset. Now, then, if they are able to get the analysis and even pinpoint one or two that was used, then they will say that, you see, if you, you said to encode that in analysis, you didn't use um, these duplicates, but now it shows here and there, then it weakens your case. Mm -hmm. That's why you should allow the respondent, I like the way they are going about it, and they are doing well they are trying to maybe who knows they have a copy of the analysis mm -hmm. and they've also looked at the analysis and maybe they found one or two duplications over there so at the right time they will, they will, they will knock they will make attempt to knock baumia down okay but so baumia too is also confident i'm sure that by this time he has uh, anytime there's a break or even after and then adjournment they go home and check. also look through and then they are also trying to make sure that whatever they have in the analysis is can support their case so we, we should allow so, so for you you believe that a day will come or a time will come for the analysis now to also take center stage definitely to so the pink sheet will be over and yes. now the focus will yes, be yes, on definitely, the analysis definitely 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 and then it will be very interesting when especially the ec found himself in the witness box that is where the analysis will also play because then you realize that the ec will be called upon to ask questions about about the analysis and the pin sheets and then the issue of uh, uh, video even evidence you know they have placed video evidence where for example you can see that they have evidence to the fact that after jam made a, uh, a broadcast uh, in, in, on, on radio on radio and television stating clearly that look in this election when there is no bi bi biometric where there, there is biometric uh, with, without verification there is no vote and if we find one person voting without verification the whole results will be cancelled and then and then and then and and then so many rules were they they have it in your video they've also tended it so these are issues that will, will crop up during the trial and so everybody should be calm as the evidence unfold it is good for us but we should not gag the respondent we should allow Chachu all the time to do the crosses and issues so that they will be satisfied you see justice ought to be uh, uh, not only be done but will be seen to be done and when you begin to gag tattoo as to how you should do crosses and mission you'll be unfair to the responder because a serious allegation have been made against the electoral commission that is going to affect them give them all the chance for them to cross them and to expose back let's look at chacho after tony Lita, after kwashi aiden there are many who thought that what else is he going to talk about? Perhaps everything seemed to have been, you know, dealt with. But he's had three or so days continuously with this whole thing. 
is he introducing new areas as far as you're concerned legally we are seeing one or two things with i mean uh non-legal minds but is he introducing new dimensions to this thing that makes progress and makes it yes yes you can exactly see where um Tashi Kata is headed. His, 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 his style of cross examination and the area that he wants to uh, damage the evidence of the member is quite clear. He's looking at this from this angle. He started by uh, attacking um, Dr. Bavia on the non existence police stations. And he tried, he succeeded to say that, look, there are, there are even uh, letters from your end, from the first petitioner who wrote and sent, your agents were sent. He was able to do that successfully. Then he moved on to the issue of the, 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 the role of uh, uh, pulling agents, where he's trying to say that your pulling agents have more role, not a mere uh, uh, passengers in the electoral uh, the, uh, process. They have a duty in law to be there, and they they, they opt to. They are not exalted yes. for service. Yes. So so he went on to say that look, if they, they have a duty and they fail to do that duty, or negligently, or intentionally, or the, uh, as reflected in the pin sheet, they endorse their signature. Then. Tashukita is trying to make a point in law that you are bound by your signature. A documentary evidence document do lie. Therefore, if you sign a document, you are bound by it in law. So he's trying to say that look, once your your own people have signed, you cannot without complaints at complain. Yeah, so he went out there is trying to say that you don't or complain written for. Thank you. So it means that you have accepted the result in law. So he is looking at the issue of signed document. There was no uh, 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 challenge. Uh, there was no duress. There was no no any undue influence on your on your on your on your agents. They voluntarily endorse. Therefore, you can't come and complain because they represent your interests. But you realize that the the petitioner. This will be issues of law when it comes to addresses. Whereas the petitioner to also raise the issue of listen to me, the endorsement by by the uh, uh, agents. It's, 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 it's not what validate results at the police station because the agents, whether they endorse or don't endorse, it is when the presiding of officer signs that is more. Because you see, the law says that the every every presidential candidate may appoint, so it's not shall. If the law says shall, then it becomes mandatory. But I say may. So you have most of the uh, presidential candidates, even they don't have police agents all over. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Mm -hmm. They decide. They, they it doesn't make the result uh, uh, invalid. No. So it is may. So MPP can decide not to send any police, is, is, uh, police agents. Mm -hmm. And if it don't go, it doesn't mean that the results will, 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 will be invalid. Okay. So there will be also that argument to that side. Then there will, there will be also argument to the effect that, look, listen to me. If there is illegality, and people agree to endorse illegality. Should the court say that because people have endorsed illegality, the illegality is not cured? And Make, indeed, that's the case that Dr. Baumian has been making. Thank you. Case. So you see, the, 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 there will be this issue. This thing will now border on them, the addresses in law. What is the effect? What is the legal effect of an agent signing uh, 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 pin sheets? And, and then what is the legal effect of signing and the constitution so the constitution will come to play the legality will come to play but you realize the attitude of the supreme court they are they are they are, they are going to decide you see the the the, the presiding judge he said something he said look Baumia, stop answering question and act, act, uh, adding legal flavors into it because the legality leave it to us we will determine the legality ask questions based on facts that don't go to the law because the law is in our bosom so whether in the agents, I, I know, so that line of agreement, at the end of the day, is trying to tell Tachuka, uh, this is uh, Baumia, that looks, listen to me, your agents were negligent or they voluntarily signed, and Lord, they are bound by it. But that issue is a question of law. That, trust me, at the end of the day, the Supreme Court has to decide. By nine, majority did she. Because it may happen that the, the judges may not agree. One, some of them, we definitely will have a, a minority and ma majority decision in this trial. That's what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because it's very difficult to have all the nine agreeing, throwing one line. Because some will uh, disagree with their colleagues. That, that, that's, that's what we, 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 we can foresee coming. <laughs> Let me still have on this issue about perjury. And what I think, I, I, I don't know, but what really is he driving at? Is he, at the end of the day, trying to suggest that 
should should the case go in their favor i mean dr barbara should be charged for perjury or something so it's like it's not over even after this case is that what he's trying to do no he's, they're trying to discredit him by saying that look you have even come not only to to make a case but they're coming to also to tell lies and deceive the court that's why he started with the conversations a lot you're a muslim you swear with the quran and you swore that whatever you are going to say is the truth and then the, the effect of being, being, being untruthful to the court is only only, only untruthful to the judges over there but the implications as a muslim then he went and so he's trying to say that look Dr. Mia, you are peddling lies you intentionally bloated these figures and if that is so then they are committed perjury but as i say the perjury can only be committed when you consider the evidence as a whole not in part if it shows up that it's like that what happens if it shows that it's like that once it weakens your case you lose the case but then you see you must go beyond normal showing go beyond to say that then he, 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 he has an intention it was done you know criminal act you, there are two things that they have been using you. that he's deliberately and you, you don't use your words you must show with 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 the documentary and then evidence you must come people so you don't just you in other words they are suggesting that it should not just pass but perhaps they want some action taken against it yes no it's a, it's a suggestion and it, the person too is explaining it so if the for example the court is like look let's now go into the issue of perjury then you must prove he who alleges proof you must and this proof is a criminal offense so you go beyond reasonable doubt you don't just go to show that they there's two uh duplicate that is not enough that's an act you must then look at the intention of the party and then Bayoma was trying to explain the intention that he didn't intend but there may be manual errors where you are trying to uh, 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 about eleven thousand uh, sheets and you are trying to exhibit it you add the uh, pressure you are my likely so he said in the course of doing that they realized that manually they were being challenged so they have to resort to electronics and then with electronics it minimizes the mistakes so in this if you are able to you have you want to um, 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 charge somebody for forgery you must go beyond and say that look despite the manual and electronics still there is this attempt and then you there should be a, a, a consistent attempt and then not only that look at the intention because the judge will not look at the only one aspect of an uh, uh, evidence and say that the conclude that perjury was perjury is a serious of we, we will take a break here when we come back two things that i want to understand one we've done this is the 10th day i believe in the case are we beginning to see a certain direction yes there's more to come there's more to come indeed we've not seen the ndc take to the box we've not seen as well the ec take to the box so there's more to come but as with this far what understanding clearly are we getting that is not to say necessarily pronounce judgment but which way are we seeing things happening no then then there's also talk about the fact that dr Bahamir's answers sometimes appear quite some clever answers you know as if he's not going straight to the point he's answering you uh, in a way that will not get him entangled you know but perhaps doesn't does not give direct answers to the questions you know that are posed to him those are issues i believe we can speak to when we come back from this break stay with us we will still be with you here we'll take a short break when we we'll join you we'll look at those angles and many more stay with us Welcome back. So while we wait for a signal from the Supreme Court, we will go ahead with our discussion here. We have three things basically to speak to. Um, one about the understanding this case is coming to so far, day 10. And then secondly, to find out uh, once again, the kinds of answers that Dr. Baumia really has been giving to some questions posed to him. Then interestingly enough, this in issue seems not to be going away at all about the cost to the various TV stations, about three TV stations so far who have been showing this live broadcast, you know, consistently all throughout the period that has been going on, and the fact that it's costing them quite a lot. Huge figures being mentioned here: forty-seven thousand six hundred and eighty world well, daily. That's between three stations, and that's no small money at all. We will speak to that issue quickly. We will find out those who are pushing to have this thing stop. Uh, uh, is it just about money or what else are we looking at but fine let's come back to you quickly dr morris ampa <clears throat> doc 
your understanding of what's happening so far yes we've all been following it but the likes of you perhaps who will be able or be in a position to shed some more light or have some some fine understanding of where this whole thing has come to from where it started we, we should look at it from this angle that the petitioner has a has a has, has presented a case Baumia is leading the petitioners he has actually tell side of the story presented evidence creating the impression that the election did not go well there were constitutional violations statutory violations and then irregularities and then all these things we have evidence to show that's what they have done and then now the respondent council seek they are what they are trying to do is to look these violations may be there but they they were they were they, they were they are not enough to overturn the results that's where they are coming from that the violations may be there but they were not enough that's why they are not attacking Bahamia on the duplicate and the quadruplicate of the document that you have bloated the figure now they are also saying that these violations may be there but your agents also did sign so why should your agent sign and then you are now complaining when they refuse to complain they are also trying to create an impression that look in law you realize that the uh, ticket I set on the let my vote count. So the millions of Ghanaians who went out there to queue to vote should we rubbish all these things in the name of violations and in the name of irregularities? But then to them, they are also trying to create a impression that look, listen to me. What is what is if there is an administrative error, uh, a presiding officer ought to sign and negligently he failed to sign, should it affect the right of the voter? These are issues, and that is the line of the cross examination. And so far, so good. And uh, when the lawyers have done well, the respondent lawyers have done well in trying to articulate these uh, um, uh, views in their cross examination. But remember that they, they also have their day where they also come to court and then tell their own story in a form of defense. And also, the petitioner's counsel will have the opportunity also to cross examine them as to where the, 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 the validity of their defense, as to whether their defense is a defense that in law can actually outdo the, the petitioner's claim and allegations. So these are the issues that are unfolding. You get a sense that after this hearing, whichever way it goes, some work will have to be done by the EC. I mean, with directives virtually from the Supreme Court <laughs> about <laughs> election rules, you know, how they to be streamlined to ensure uh, what an agent's role is, and when it can it can mean something to the, the, the election results and all that. It, you, you get the sense that some directives will be given to the EC? I, I don't know, but I want to find out from you whether Afrajan uh, 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 has retired or some not it's yes, still there yes. but I, I don't think four years you'll go okay sure are you sure uh, something correct no, i mean i think that he's got to the point perhaps that's the last election perhaps if that if, is if, election. if would have gone there for time he have, i think he has now known that it is not enough to come and then say to everybody i'm independent the electoral commission decision is final on issues and that, that was a posture of Dr. Farajan during the elections. You realize that he didn't want anybody to influence and uh, or make suggestions. You quite remember the creation of the uh, the constituency where a lot of people came in and uh, pastors came in and then he stood in grounds, press conference and said clearly that listen to me, I am the EC, we are the boss, we have been mandated by the constitution to organize election. We will not allow anybody to teach us what to, to, what to do. But now this petition are brought to the fore that whatever we are doing one day one day judgment day will come now the judgment day that has come has now raised the issue that the independent of the uh, electoral commission can be questioned when there's a petition so now you realize that from this case the next electoral commission will be very very cautious about the way we do things there will be more cooperation the attitude of me being the boss and when i speak is final will be will be over now you realize that the role of the agent and the role of presiding officers and all the irregularities that are being raised, the Supreme Court will pronounce on them the legal effect of maybe agents signing, the legal effect of a presiding officer not signing, the legal effect of overvoting, the legal effect of uh, this thing, uh, voting without verification. All these will be pronounced by the Supreme Court at the end of the trial. So it will be a precedent, a guiding principle for the next electoral commissioner to be guided by 
that in the conduct of elections, when even you are collecting results, you ought to cross check whether all the police station personnel officers have signed. If they have not, then you have not finished your work again. You don't rush to come and declare. You take your time. It's better to take your time to cross the T's and then dot the I's. Even if you take you three days to do that, to rush and and then and then and then and then, and then, and then come and then you you uh, declare results and later on people realize that there are a lot of uh, this same uh, 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 loopholes and which they can bounce on it and that's what actually happened so this case is going to send a strong signal to the ec that the ec is not independent after all at the end of the day judgment day will come you'll be called upon to account and the issue of transparency will come in now people will question the transparency and then you you will see this from the trial when the electoral commission mounts the witness box then you see how the petitioner council will start putting to the electoral commissioner that now you are not the boss here now you are here to account for your stewardship they will now hold you on to the eyes that were not dotted and the things that was not crossed they will hold on to the details of the elections and then you realize that i don't agree the supreme court justice will pronounce on them whether these irregularities if they exist had effect on elections that would be the outcome of this one other question i wanted to ask but we'll hold on to that question about the kinds of answers that Dr. Valmy has been giving. Uh, a lot of people have suggested that he's just been too clever sometimes, trying to, I mean, a bit evasive, uh, not too straight to the point. Uh, somehow, I'll, I'll find out from you what he also make of that. But quickly, uh, as I alluded to earlier, uh, that you know, this survey of a sort has come out. It's from one organization that calls itself City Africa. Um, they are talking about how much the television stations, including uh, my station as well, how much we're losing as a result of the live broadcast in fact indeed some figures have been put to it some forty seven thousand six hundred and eighty ghana cities daily that's through the live broadcast so we're to day 10 means you add a zero to it and you're getting some four seventy thousand well that's quite a number four hundred seventy six thousand eight hundred dollars in terms of how much we are losing over this 10-day period in fact the breakdowns have been such that the tv uh, gtv we understand costs four thousand to seven thousand uh, according to one one of the technical production and crew you know, we're looking also at between 15 and seventeen thousand for tv3 and metro each you know so huge figures huge triggers so far that we're looking at and they're not too happy about the fact that this live broadcast is going on so uh, yes they are also adding their voice there they want to be heard about this what exactly we'll talk to him one Emmanuel Ochi Amwa he's executive secretary of City Africa so City Africa's executive secretary has joined us thanks for joining us Mr. Ochi Amwa well, thank you very much okay so why has this become worrying to you uh, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Yes, the, the foundation, uh, as I laid here, which largely came from you, is about how much we are losing 47,600 daily. That's through our live coverage. I'm saying, uh, why has this become that important to you? Um, in the first place, I would like to put a record that we are not against the public getting to know what's happening at the Supreme Court. Indeed, we clamor for transparency, integrity, and accountability. But that shouldn't come at the back of losing those huge amounts of money. So we still stand by our call. Whether it will be hidden too is a different story. But as a CSO, we think it is our right, we think it is our responsibility to make sure the right hand is done. And here we think it is not very right that huge sums of money going down the drain, we speak, and the authorities do not seem to hear. So that's your, your, your posture, at least for now. And that's quite simple. And I, yes, people I know. think I would also have to add that those who called for the public, uh, uh, the, the live telecast, I should say, wanted to cure the mischief whereby at the end of the day the two different sides of the political divide come out and give a uh, very uh, uh, twisted uh, 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 stories about what happens at the supreme court i don't think that mischief has been cured indeed just after about a day or two 
of the live telecast of the proceedings. Uh, the GJ is on record as having called for the two general secretaries of the main political parties to be blacklisted. Because even as we all see what happens at the Supreme Court, they still seem to say what they want to say. We believe this is a very important thing, and the authorities, again, we call on them to give heed to our call. Because democracy should seek to develop a lot, and not otherwise. I don't know if you've heard about this argument, that if you consider this as cost and something that we should pay attention to, we should look at the alternative. Pardon me, please. Well, let me go over. I'm saying, yes, your concerns fairly and well raised and registered, but I don't know if you've heard about the other side that talks about if you think this is too expensive to run and unnecessary for that matter, consider the, op the other option. Yes, the other option is quite simple. We, we called for the, tent to be, uh, the whole telecast to be halted and then the proceedings recorded and a certain time fixed. So when we are home, we can have a look at it. In that case, we still watch it. And I think court proceedings are sacred. You can't alter it unless you say we don't believe the custodians of the law. If we do, and they are going to protect the sanctity of what happens at the Supreme Court, they shouldn't have a problem telecasting it later in the day. That's the uh, uh, option we are given. Then I guess it has to do with the timing and not necessarily the cost associated because even, even if it's at midnight, there's going to be cost associated with it. So you have issues with timing and not necessarily the cost no, associated. No, no not, not absolutely the case because you know prime timing is different from the other time you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So look at the time they're using. That's prime time. Mm -hmm. And that's serious. So the cost is certainly an issue because it's going to go down if it's recorded. And you think that um, for six, seven, nine hours we can afford to do that? We can afford to record uh, put all those things together, do some editing and play back in the evenings while we are uh, maybe in a relaxed mood. And exactly. that will not be even able to take away the, the times when somebody has to go through a certain list. You know the time it takes, and I think the radio stations and some of the TV stations take opportunity to do a bit of uh, commercial. But if you're able to do that, you can cut away all those bits so that uh, uh, the, the cogent aspects are then telecast for the general public to know. Mm -hmm. And they are certainly going to be informed what they want to know, they will know. But as I said, the twist and turns from the politicians will not stop. Now it's like watching a football match. We all have uh, uh, entrained positions. There's no way you hear uh, General Mosquito say, oh, today Baumia did marvelously well. On the other hand, you never hear Sir John say, uh, today, Chachu was marvelous. It's never going to happen, although we are all watching. So we should also have that at the back of our mind, that the politicians have entrained positions, and their target group of people who they want to inform, most largely illiterate, just take what their party leaders say. So the live telecast, those for whom they are uh, supposed to be informed, are not even getting it. People don't even understand the process. They are just watching. Yes, and but, people are counting objections. But don't you think that a live broadcast is in itself curing a certain, you know, mindset? If it's live, it's not recorded. Yes, we've not done live. any. If we've not done live, any editing. I said, if we've not done any it. editing. If you've not done any editing at all, it's just what we see. What is happening there that we see at the time that is happening then no one can actually come back and say, oh, we went through these files for, let's say, five minutes. You took just two minutes of it, and you took the time when perhaps a person's face was showing that maybe he was saying something that he was not comfortable with, and not when he was happy about it. So, you see, still you have some um, things to re in between to resolve, you know, that you, you wouldn't want to, to, to get into. That, that should ideally be the case. But we are talking of what is actually going on. 
whereby, as I speak to you, after the proceedings, you speak to both sides of the divide, and they have largely divergent views. You look at it, they don't come to say what the case is, they say what goes for them. And that will not stop whether we do it live or not. But at the end of the day, the public must be informed. And we think it's not only through live telecast, especially when the economy at this stage is crumbling. We are aware. The economy is not in a very good health. We know it. And we don't have to do much uh, 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 work thanks to the already deplorable state of our economy. So, Mr. Imano Ochri Abmoa, we say thank you for your views, quite well stated. Let's have these broadcasts, but let's record them, play them uh, not during peak hours, as off peak hours. So people will just sit quietly and enjoy them, and we would have time and space to make money uh, just so that economic activity is not brought to a halt uh, at a point in time or at a time when we believe that the economy is facing some problems some downturns. So your case quite well made. That's Mr. Otri Amwa, Emmanuel Otri Amwa, Executive Secretary of City Africa. Uh, his views are that clearly. Let's be Thank you. Day. Thank you very much. We hope you next time provide another forum for us to uh, further our opinion. We thank you and we thank you all for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. So views well stated and indeed from day one people we have had people who have talked about it i mean two three days into it we had one person from the world of finance who joined us and who tried to give us indications about how business is being affected how he was trying to put something together for someone outside to join and do some training some workshop of a sort for uh, some group of ceos or you know business persons and did not get the audience he, he wanted. How some also <laughs> have decided not to sign big business contracts and deals for that matter because of what they term as noise you know, that they are hearing in, in Ghana. Uh, this is a cause of concern for even lawyers who uh, at, at this time are on top, are in their elements. You see, you see, um, uh, there is, there is, there is a price to pay for anything that you do. Those who have done economics, they say the economy cost, opportunity cost for not telecasting in life will be what. So we, we look at it from the angle of uh, the values and what we we, we, will, we will think. That you, they, 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 there's no straightforward answer as to whether when you stop, it will cure something that. Uh, the, the mischief that politicians will want to do or want to telecast his life or what. At the end of the day, let's look at the positives and the negatives. The positive is that, you see, this trial is going to promote transparency. There is something we say in law. Justice must not only be done. It should be seen. Okay. You know, it's, it's easily when there is a beauty contest and then the judges go inside, nobody is there. They go and do the right thing and then they come and then pronounce that whatever the trial at the beauty contest, A have won, and the people did not see the justice being done. Then they'll begin to doubt. There is this perception that lawyers and judges, we are all liars and we, we speak our own language. Even whilst we are watching the thing live, people are even not convinced about the technicalities. How much more if it's shredded in secrecy? We, the, the Supreme Court is shredded in I, secrecy. I think his case is recorded. Just as it's going on now, record everything, piece it together, and show during off-peak sessions, you know, let's say after nine, ten, thereabouts, where people have come home, they are relaxed, then we can have life. It, it will have somehow the same effect. Because if you record, mind you about uh, editing, if you have a, a recorded thing, people may even doubt the authenticity of the record. They may say that, oh, it has been edited here and there. Then the cost also to the stations. Because if it's nine hours, when are you going to start? The record is. I just go to start five. But that's also a peak time for other programs, and people also watch a lot of television after work. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to do, uh, record it in, and then play it in the midnight where people are asleep? It will also affect people from, from waking up early. So, I don't know if you look at it from both angles, everybody is making a point. But once you have started, let's continue. We should not start uh, 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 the blame game because at the end of the day, the trial being telecast, you are making history. These telecasts can be recorded by everybody at home. One day, one day, we show it to your, the next generation. And the next generation that this is the first 
Supreme Court election disputes and half copies. I think that it's, it's also about the implications, the revenue implications for the various uh, respective TV stations. What, you know, what, how much they are losing. What, what, what do you what have to know that at the end of the month? You know, what you are doing workers. is social responsibility. Mm -hmm. You are also doing the for that. And no, you must factor it in your, your, your taxation. Mm -hmm. So you should write rather for the for the for the for the revenue authorities to recognize this huge loss in your payment of tax. That you have rendered social uh, uh, responsibility, therefore you put that, that one into your tax returns, your submissions, and your, your your arguments, so that at least they will look at it from the angle that you have given back to society. You have done what we call what, uh, 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 um, giving to the privileged, the poor, and normally those things are considered. In the Is it an return. argument that the state should be getting into now? Perhaps finance ministry, and the revenue authorities to start uh, financing. Should, should, no, perhaps should get into some arrangement of a sort with the very TV and radio stations. To do what? You are talking about tax, uh, uh, tax filing, filing of tax yes. returns, and the fact that yes. you could look at these yes. issues that can easily be classified as social responsibility yes. or social issues, yes. no, which they are speaking to. Yes. So at least it should it should have some effect on how much tax they yes, pay. Yes, definitely. I uh, think that's, that's exactly. what I'm saying. Can we begin to have a discussion? At least just to 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 allay fears that. Well, it's, it will just oh, yeah. not pass. Oh, yeah, that's, like that. that's what you need to do. You have to start the right to the Ministry of Finance. Should they also in the, in, initiate this? No, they are not feeling it. You are, they are the one feeling it. You must start the initiative. I, 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 they're not seeing that. They are seeing, but you know, feeling it. No, but when, when, when they even see, they don't complain. So okay. I'm saying that you must start putting that thing in writing formally and then begin to cost those things. And when they are about to pay your tax, you will do deductions for you. Because I don't think you are helping. That is if you're going to be listened to. You want to be sure to start with that at least some overtures will be made positively in your favor. But if you don't know and you keep you keep on and on and on and later you're told that this cannot I, I, be I, I don't know whether this program cannot be sponsored if, if any of the institutions would like to uh, push you halfway. <laughs> we'll play <laughs> your address. Yes, definitely. <laughs> 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 the time when, when uh, suggestions are being made. Are, oh, yes, all the other things. They are Logo, no, uh, there, under, 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 under the. Uh, so you say we should be innovative. Yes, yeah, innovative. Go out there and see uh, try if we can get some. People, the viewership is high now. So this time is good for adverts. So you must look for one or two people who would like to support the program. Okay. So uh, as to whether it's feasible or not, it's another thing it altogether. Is, but is, money, is money is having lost. Yes. 47,680 Ghana cities daily. That's a lot of money. can make a huge difference elsewhere. Okay. So we'll take a short break. When we come back, that's still, that question still lingers about how Dr. Baumia has positioned himself so far all throughout this trial. Stay with us. We'll come back with more. Okay, so now we're back here. We're back here now. It means that it's just, so to speak, friendly hostilities. Um, the people who are at each other's throat, so to speak, uh, they're exchanging pleasantries. So there's no need at all for you out there to support any of those parties to go fighting amongst yourself. It's brain work. It's brain work. It's brain work. So I think that's what it's come through. Okay, so let's see the merits of it so far. And lawyer. Maurice Ampau is here with us to help with our discussion. He's been here since morning. And we appreciate his time. He's actually the founder of Legal Advocacy Foundation. That's um, lawyer Maurice Ampau. Thanks again for your time. It's always a pleasure. Okay. So, uh, anything new for today? Today proceedings has been very, very... Um, how do I describe it? Boring to the ordinary <laughs> man on the streets, mm -hmm. and even as lawyers, it's not it's, it's not something that you can talk much because it's more of pre uh, presentation of documents, duplication, your agent signed, and then you declare results. So it has been one way, one way, and without any legal challenge. So you realize that it really frustrated the petitioners cancels because you look as if the same procedure has been adopted the same responses 
and everybody seems like uh, we, they are, we are not comfortable it will delay the trial but that is the that is the method that the council for the uh, uh, this thing, NDC have ad adopted and I, I'm wondering because it's like if you look at Tony Lita, the, the way he also is own style but it was more faster but looking at Tatuji Kata you realize that you have a long way to go because if you don't take care he will go to the supposed 11,000 800 P sheets. Mm -hmm. And if you know the record of Tatuch Kata, we quite remember those days when it was it tried, the criminal trial, it took six years. So I think the petitioner for the, uh, uh, they said, the petitioner council realized that they know the ability of uh, Tatuch Kata uh, 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 to drag issues. So they tried to raise an objection and to, to push the, the bench, that's the Supreme Court judges, to, to come out and, 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 and then come up with rules and, and directions to, to, to limit any possible delay from the uh, respondent uh, council. As well as, because if you take it, the suit is against EC. And if EC and uh, this thing, the president have off, off dealt with it within two days, then the NDC would just get to right. join. <laughs> it's taken almost about uh, almost one week. It's very fr frustrating. So, I think the Supreme Court judges will, 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 will retire. If you look, the, this case has become a difficult case for them because there's no precedent. Mm -hmm. there, there's no example to follow. Okay. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new area for them. So I'm sure when they retire, there's going to be a serious meeting among them how to, 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 to speed up the trial. The judge gave an indication. But yes. That mm -hmm. they will make they a ruling. Yes, a ruling because they need to sit down and then look at it. How? Because if not, mm -hmm. and we are going to allow 11,000 and this Chachu sometimes this, this, gives the indication that he's punishing them for the, so to speak, mess that they've caused. That is really, and, and, that, that, that's, and that is just that's, walking through it that, one after the other for everybody to know. The man is an expert. They have know. got four sheets instead of one, two sheets. The man, the man is an expert. In some cases, blank sheets and all that. And he thinks, perhaps, that's what I'm thinking, that he intends punishing them. Yes, that, that's exactly what is happening. But I, 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 I think... Um, the court need to manage the situation very well. But if not, they'll sit there for more than one or two years. And it will not be good for, not the case, but there's some that is. How can you sit on a, one petition for about one year? And for our pockets as well. Yes, it's affecting uh, productivity. So, I think there's a way out where I believe that even what, I, I think what should have been done is for the Supreme Court, for example, to say that today we are not, uh, tomorrow we are not sitting. Use tomorrow. The parties, and the, and the lawyers, and this thing must meet Use tomorrow to sort out the various agree and disagree. That's, that's thank what you. He, the he said that they have a long weekend. Thank you. Use it and do that. Thank you. Meet the and last time he even offered them the court. Thank you. So that when we come, no cost room for that. When we come, there's no room for objection. When we come, it is the uh, 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 witnesses, witnesses who have to. Uh, uh, then, uh, that, but if you don't, and we keep on slow by slow, what is going to happen is that it will delay the trial. And also, you can see that um, Chachu. It, 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 uh, is trying to um, lay a foundation that one, the, the pink sheet have been overbloated, two, the agents were responsible. Even if there's any mess, they also contributed to the mess. If there's any irregularity, they also contributed to the irregularity. So why do you why why do you blame the 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 the, the, the NBC or the president for that mess that your agent also contributed to? So if for example the Electoral Commission was negligent, then your agent too, they were also negligent. And if uh, you contributed to the negligence, where the, the NDC and the uh, president is saying that after us, we did not contribute to England because we are agent to also sign, but the results went to our favor. But you, if you have signed the result now, didn't go to your favor, now why are you comp competing? So that is the uh, foundation that uh, Chachupita is trying to lay. But I'm sure that as time goes on, by, by Monday, the issues, the cross examination should end. At least by Monday, because the judges ought to push Chachu Kata to come to a final conclusion. You mean Chachu's cross examination? Yes, at least by Monday they should they should they should they should there should be pressure on on the man to 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 uh, fast track things. You know, hey, that's the way. There's a pressure because if you look at the cross examination of the EC, the main uh, uh, person that the the whole suit is around. Look at very brief, excellent, and then when you have. So the one who rather came to John was a Paul Amantem. 
the power who came to join is now but great. if you continue what you have started you know then what that, that's what it means yes Paul Ambanter, you know? yes yeah, yeah. Paul Ambanter, <laughs> so, so it means that he has come to now <laughs> that is why you can see that somehow the the petitions councils initially were objecting to Chachu even cross-examining mm -hmm. because it's like let them realize that look I'm there to do the, uh, the, 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 the uh, excuse me, the dirty game, the mid for that, the so, oh, 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 formation. But I think the Supreme Court judges know the uh, the, the, the the responsibility. They they, they know the, the the way that people attach to these uh, uh, proceedings. The international committee is watching. We don't want any delay. This case should end at least early by the uh, end of June. There should be a decision. We cannot take this case to the legal year. We should not. We should not go to the guy here with this case hanging on us. No, we don't want any more amicus. <laughs> yeah, amicus <laughs> applications. <laughs> <laughs> we understand as an international, international lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> Why don't you show up there with one? Come again. Why don't you show up there with one amicus? <laughs> uh, amicus. <laughs> <laughs> write your name there. In the uh, the, but but, but, the, the, but, the, but the, that lawyer, that lawyer is an interesting lawyer. Yeah, because know. he himself did not believe in the application. Okay. He, he, you realize that he was just shouting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when, when they told you, he started, he started laughing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> It's, it's like it's like uh, the, 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 the the lawyer who 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 came with uh, uh, three hundred three hundred uh, thirty six yes yes uh, uh, also to join to join yeah. lawyer okay. okay you know and then okay. later we started uh, sleeping <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> you see? so I thought this case has a very interesting I twist and right. I think really, after he, the case there will be a lot blamed, of he blamed the devil I for the <laughs> devil and, and an animal so I'm sure that after this case there's a lot for us to uh, 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 enjoy as a nation. We should be happy because this is an interesting case and a very uh, uh, interesting moment for Ghana. We are making history. Okay. <laughs> our children. It might have to be positive history. So yes, at least we can walk through this thing peacefully. Too, we, will. we can begin to enjoy yeah. our investments and then you know, our economy will grow. That's good. Let's go back to the, so one of the substantive issues here. Uh, and like you're saying, the man seems to be laying a certain foundation. That's Chekata. He's taking, albeit, I mean, in a very slow manner, a slow pace, you know, but he, he seems to be laying a certain foundation. He pointed out, you know, one of the issues, uh, most of the sheets that they have brought with the 11,000 sheets, you know, and all that, it, it looks like they are almost all in areas where only the president won. You, you realize that the, the petitioners, the reason why they want to annul about 4, 000, 4, 4 million, those are the areas where you realize that the NDC had uh, strongholds. Most of the, 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 the voting verification took place in the north, the Volta, but uh, a greater Accra, Centra. So you realize that it is look as if that place, is, that place the president and NDC won. And they, from the evidence that they have, that they said it tended. The, the, the lot of illegality took place in those areas. And so when it comes to the stronghold, for, me, for example, from the N N N MPP, the Shanti region, you don't have any, a lot of the illegalities that went on because I learned, I learned that um, they, they were strictly without vote, you don't, you, without verification, you don't vote. So these are the areas that you see that Chachukata is trying to create an impression that look, in every, all the areas that you are complaining, you won't. We won massively, and also your AJDB attested. <laughs> you see that thing? Verify and and then uh, um, uh, declare with the electoral commission that you won. But Dr. Obamia also tells him that the irregularities in your to the benefit of. You see, uh, that is so excellent, Dr. Obamia. I don't know really the kind of training. He's so excellent in uh, and trying to, you know, he answers and he nullifies whatever effect, both legally, uh, 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 effect that the, the certificate tries to make because because look at the answer is that yes he won't but it was based on the irregularity so definitely he, he, today today to, to the, today so far so good uh i think we 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 all we all could the uh, school court judges realize that there's the the the, the trial been very slow and, and we need to um, uh, speed up things so that we can have a suspicious trial and then we will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will, we will come to a further conclusion to, of, of this matter. Mm -hmm. So, assuming Chachu finishes on Monday, let's assume. Let's give Chachu Monday up to maybe Wednesday to finally well, Wednesday. Yes, because you see, Chachu Wednesday? is somebody. Chachu is somebody. He, when he finishes, Wednesday. when he finishes with all the documents, now he will come to uh, 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 the main trash of uh, uh, asking 
questions with legal implications. Mm -hmm. He is fond of doing that. So let's give that to Monday. So you're saying the I'm can tell pink you. sheets will be over. I'm telling you. And then now he will start. Yes, one -on -one. yes. Now he will take it. He will take it. So let's give him up to Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, at least by Wednesday. But when he finish, then it will depend on, it depend on the petitioner and uh, uh, um, um, legal team as to whether they have witnesses. And it's in, in their interest to have witnesses mm -hmm. because the witnesses ought to collaborate. They, they must collaborate the evidence of Biomia mm -hmm. because if you leave uncollaborated evidence, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. So what they will do is that they prepare somebody who will come and fill the loopholes. You know, that Baumia, for example, the agents, if they, they may bring about one or two agents who can come and testify that they may be they is an agent really signed but maybe there was a there, there was come of come of, of, of <laughs> danger you know threat on the life mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. he protected but it was it was it, the, 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 the 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 protest did not go far because there was a threat on his life there was this kind of duress yeah. so if you have agent like that who come to say like, look in this path that way the I, I signed that. I foresee, was, I foresee a real drag as far as you know, this direction is concerned because if a thing or if someone is brought in to do a thing like that, then you also see the other side also trying to adduce evidence to show perhaps that that was not the case. Yes. They, they may also have to call. Yes, but, 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 but that, 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 that's the case of the uh, petitioner. Bringing witnesses, yes, isn't the it? the petitioner. Because if you see where... Let's say, let's say people who also voted there at that police uh, sta station and look for the policeman and look for presiding officer, all those people to either come and uh, uh, you know, corroborate yes, what, he's definitely. what he's saying. Definitely. Or, you definitely. Know, see, to deny. that's why this trial, it will depend upon what... Uh, that's why the judges were trying to eliminate human... Uh, witnesses, people who come personally, they have to do it. So, but do you think that 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 should be an angle to it, especially when Dr. Baumia has admitted that none of them came back to report verbally or in in written form? No, you see, any he, form of violence. Yes, he, he attested to what's, that. What what then would be uh, the basis for sitting here today and saying that? I had to sign, but somebody held a knife to my. No, he he, he he is saying that there was no formal protest on the pink sheets. Mm -hmm. he, 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 always, yes, well. uh, but, but he, he can bring somebody. You know, it's like he's, 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 he, he admitted he, that so far nobody admit nobody came, came to, to make it verbally from 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 their side side to their uh, 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 to uh, him. headquarters. Yes, headquarters. Yes, uh, but it, and, it, and even in written form as well. So you realize so that tactically he is looking at it on the face of a picture. Yes, so tactically he's trying to say that even if our agents signed, they signed based on the information, and if the information is tinted, then we've signed an illegality. So what's the legal effect of it? If something is wrong and you sign, you agree that you sign. What is the legal effect? That is that will be a, a question for the Supreme Court to decide. Mm -hmm. So I'm 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 sure there will be maybe one or two witnesses from the petitioner to end their case. Then after that, then the uh, respondent will also start uh, um, um, telling their story. That's the sitting criteria. Yes, uh, yeah, no, the sitting criteria will be last. The president will come, but the president cannot come. The president has given, uh, we understand, the authority to a sitting criteria to represent them. Mm -hmm. uh, who is going to represent uh, uh, NDC? I think he's doing both. And so it's, it's, it's not it's not proper, it's, it's not proper, because if, if, if you represent the president and at the same time you represent the NDC, then why did you join? What is the purpose of joining? Because it's the same questions that you are going to ask. They are going to ask you. They realize that the purpose of joining has, has been defeated. Because if you have a situation whereby you, when it comes to questions, I mean, you have three lawyers, but then when it comes to doing your own case, you have limited it to two. Then why do you allow? Why do NDC come but in? That's the general secretary of a party. Who's it doesn't represent the president. The, the, the president. The president right. ought to be represented properly. As a yes. I should represent the NDC. And they, they should look for somebody to represent the president. Mm -hmm. So at least it will be three. It will be fair. But I think it are going to represent the president and they must to represent the well, NDC. Maybe I, I, I it will I'm be fire. speaking. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they will not do that. Okay. They will look for somebody who is calm and who is also very knowledgeable. Who not come and play? Is that antics? to suggest that? As you no, you see, that no, be able to do no. That. You know, I said Duke <laughs> has this political uh, they say, animal. You know, everybody has an animal. Political. He's, he, he would definitely if Bamia even goes that way. You know, but the, the, the judges come and tell us, you know, Bamia, we are not in a, a, a political rally. I said Duke would definitely. He's not a lawyer, so definitely when you push him to the wall, he's <laughs> a can you imagine? I said Duke in this. He's uh, a banker like Bamia. Can you imagine? I said Duke in Saint John. <laughs> 
in the witness box. Okay. <laughs> it will be very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So we, we, we don't allow us to 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 dominate the the the, 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 the You're saying it will not be in their interest. I'm sure to bring no, not at all. Kitia. Bring different person. Let the president seem to be represented by somebody, and let until the guitar represent the NDC. Then the the, the, the trial will be somehow fair. We have to say goodbye for now. We have to say thank you for your time for your patience, for the knowledge you've shared with us. It's been a pleasure having you. And uh, that's Dr. Maurice Ampau, who is a lawyer and founder of Legal Advocacy Foundation. He's helped us so much as far as you know, understanding what's been happening in the courtroom is concerned.